Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So, today I'm just gonna be kind of venting, more or less. Yeah, I like mentally prepping myself to vent. No, I'm just kidding. Um, kind of. Bear in mind, there's a reason I've been talking about workplaces a lot recently, and today kind of took the cake on my mental state on this front, but it kind of cumulatively binds everything that I've talked about so far. So, as of the week of this recording, um, today, which is a Saturday, and yesterday were the two two days I had off. However, because for today specifically, because somebody decided to not show up, um, without any notice either. My boss ended up ha ended up trying to get a hold of everyone, literally everyone but me, to see if anyone would come in, and in the long haul, I'm the one who ended up going in. Actually, to be honest, Pink Fox Amber is the one who ended up getting a hold of me. I'm pointing this way because behind the camera is a wall, and behind that wall is Amber's in my bedroom. Um, anyway. <sighs> Both Pink Fox and our boss, neither of them wanted to get a hold of me, but the fact that nobody was willing to go in, they call me and I'm trying to sleep. I'm, I was up, like, really late last night, by the way. Um, just because I was expecting to stay and have the day off, so I was like, you know what, I have tomorrow off. I'm just going to hang out overnight with uh, Aaron and our uh, new, more new friend, Jake. And that was, that's kind of what happened. Little did I know that about four hours I go, I actually end up going to sleep officially. I get a call... Four calls, actually, um, because Amber knew I was dead asleep, but she also knows the vibration for the phone. If you give it enough time, just wake me up. So I get a call. We'll go with that. From her asking if I could go in. And I'm like half dead. Bear this in mind. I'm half dead. Normally when this happens, I usually end up saying no and officialize that. However, when there are certain circumstances, I'm going to put it this way. That way there's no confliction or anything amongst anybody watching. This higher being, higher universal being, godly being, whatever you believe in, has a tendency to make it upon me so it's easier for me to say yes if it, in the long haul, it ends up being absolutely needed or in somebody's case, very beneficial. And for today, that actually ended up being the case. I just had one request and that was to let me rest a little bit longer so I could at least have enough sleep to be able to make through the day. Luckily, this was a term that was more than... they, Both Amber and our boss were more than willing to abide by. I should also point out, for those of you who saw my uh, Golden Apple Manager video, it's the same boss that I was... The same good boss I was referring to in that video who was actually the manager f that was okay with this. Uh, th th this manager also, it's the same, th this same manager, so, and this manager also, it's, he also didn't, he wanted to make it like a very last minute resort to be able to get a hold of me. 
still did. And you know what? I was like, you know what? Sure. I just need like give me give me like an hour. Get, message me at like eleven, ten, fifteen. I don't know. I was up late. Something fifteen. I don't remember. I was really out of it at the time. All I rem all I bear all I do remember is like message me at blank fifteen. Uh, it was either nine ten. It was somewhere between 8 and 11.15. I was up really, really late last night. Um, and I woke up like twice because for different circumstances. Cumulatively, I ended up getting about 5-6 hours of sleep in the long haul. Unincluding a nap that I actually literally took before this video, but after the second video for today. But I digress. Um... When I... I ended up getting enough sleep for the day. In the long haul. That's kind of the point I'm trying to make. But when I got to work, when I found out the reason behind why I was asked to come in, I was... Most, most people would be very livid about it. Me? I guess I'm just so used to it that... I wasn't livid, but I was annoyed. Almost irritated. I was like, Ugh, you know what? This, I had to force my mind to think that this, finances, a good amount of it would come out of it. I had to force myself to think about that. If I didn't, it would have drove me mad. <laughs> but the reason behind it, apparently was he was, the, the, the person who was supposed to come in was sick, as in like a cold. I'm slowly getting something along those lines right now. Both me and Amber are, actually. But we have no intentions of calling off just because we got the sniffles. <laughs> Unless we start throwing up, or having some kind of medical circumstance that makes it physically impossible for us to work, we wouldn't call off. Um, uh, uh, basically, unless it's something that the company absolutely requires us to stay home for, it's not happening. When I found out that this person was like calling off, not even calling off, just didn't go in at all, just because they were they had the sniffles or they were coughing or something small like that, I was like, really? That was legitimately my visual response at first. I had other things in mind going through my head about it. Like, I don't know, a, a good example that kind of went through my head is like, this is why I, I feel like industries like where I work, like they, they hire the worst people possible. Out of desperation too. Instead of trying to look for someone, you know, some good empl employees that'll do the job properly, always show up, like, and stuff like that, they're just like, you know what, we're desperate, you're hired, we'll get you through, get to work. You know, some bosses just don't consider the fact that, hey, what are your strong suits? What are you good at? How often will you show up? Like, all that kind of stuff, nah, it's not considered. And that kind of stuff is covered in the video that I was talking about when I brought up the Golden Apple Manager. To reiterate, though, for those who didn't see it, basically, what I consider, when I talk about a Golden Apple Manager, I'm talking about that so rare manager that's good to the degree where they still do their job, accurately, but they still take into consideration people's health, how they feel about certain circumstances. If they need to be removed, they will, and be swapped for something else. Like, all that kind of stuff. All the good things. Basically, it's a manager who does their job, but also considers the psychology and sociology of a human being. And takes it to heart. And to action.
tax on it. That's what I consider a golden apple manager, in short. With that being said, the assistant manager of our store was the one working today and he's the golden apple manager of the store. The GM, like most, I would say he's a good Apple manager, but not quite golden Apple. Um, meaning that he does his job very well, and he takes as much into consideration as he can, but it's not always top-notch. For his sake, there is reason, so... He gets a hard pass on this front for me, because he does have very good reason for struggling with that. And it's not something I can hold against him at all, and I wouldn't. I guess just what was going through my head earlier is just the idea that things could have been overlooked a bit better. Regardless, that's a side. That's beside what the the point of what was going. What, what, the official of what was happening. Just the fact that someone wouldn't show up, just because they're going, oh. <laughs> And it's not, like, the big elephant of the room for the past few years. It's dumb. Because, re realistically, like, the way I see it, there's a reason Amber and I go to work even if we've got, like, sickness, like, that's, like, that minor. The fact that the job requires us to run around and be on our feet all the freaking time... That would actually help get a person better, rather than making it worse. And for those who don't know, what I'm referring to is that when you're sick, like a cough, a cold, a fever, something simple like that, if you exercise and still eat, you know, regularly, well, yes, you'll get sick, but one, it wouldn't last very long, and two, it wouldn't be that bad. Like for me, I'm, yes, I actually do have a little bit of a stuffed up nose, but it's stupidly minor and it's, un it's not impacted at all. It makes me exhausted a little bit quicker, sure, but outside of that, that's it. That is literally it. And even then, it doesn't make me exhausted to the point where I can't physically work. It just gets me to the point where, like what happened today, I ended up doing the later video first, sent it out to get edited, and I went and took a nap. And then spent a little bit of time with Amber for a bit. Granted, we worked together, but I meant personal time. After that, I came back in here, and we're where we are now. That's, I mean, when you look at, like, minor sicknesses, and how, can, how they can be treated, the kind of job I have would help. It would help make it better. But so many people call off just because they got the sniffles that... It's it's like no one knows this. I wouldn't be surprised if no one knows this. It's a very uncommon thing to know. And yet, it seems like it shouldn't be. Still. I don't... This is personal opinion. For those who disagree out there, bear that in mind. It is just my opinion. I think, personally, it is not a good work ethic to call off just simply because you've got, like, a cold or a fever. Or should I say, like, a light-ended one? Now, if it's so... If it's, like, a cold that's so bad that... There are some colds out there that can cause migraines. If it's that bad, to the extent where it's causing migraines, 
to the point where you're throwing up, then it's understandable for, like, the kind of job that I have. If it's retail and you have it, then... Yeah, actually, it is a little bit more understandable to call. If you have, like, a simple fever or cold, then... Just because physical contact with stocking items or with customers all the time is way more frequent. Whereas the job that I have always, you first of all, you always wear gloves. By the way, this, it's actually, it's not a cut or anything. It's just something that's, it, it was for, from like, I think from like a hangnail from earlier. Nothing too drastic. But I just have it on just, you know. Because I'd rather not risk anything as far as like that work spot goes. But literally, when it, like gloves, like I was saying, that solves this aspect right here. When it's something minor, when it comes to any kind of phys like bodily, um, whether injury or, I'm not gonna call it a disease, but you kinda get what I mean. When it comes to stuff like that, gloves. And if you're coughing, do it like this. Sneezing is the same. You just, again! It ends up right here, and you never touch anything. Same with coughing. <coughs> the bacterium, bacteria, bacterium. I know that's a word, but that doesn't make sense in this context. It goes nowhere but in your arm. Kind of stays there too. If you were to interact with other things, that cough or sneeze or whatever went into your arm, wouldn't interact with it at all. Constantly wash hands. And like simple stuff like that. Literally make sure you're moving around and doing something a lot and don't always be sitting down. These are literal like these these are like no brainer things that you can physically actively be doing to make sure that you get better faster. And all these things are things that could be done during a job of almost any kind when it comes to like movement, retail, restaurant industry with a fast food or a normal restaurant, warehouse jobs. Um, literally the only jobs that don't are ones that have you sit in a ca uh, I was about to say catacomb. What are they called again? I always forget, a concubine? Concubine? No. Why would, why would it be called a concubine? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've thought of the word I'm thinking of. An office. Uh, we'll, we'll just go with that term. Basically, if you're sitting in an office in a chair during your job the whole time, at that point, it's easier for you to get sick. Unless you're, wor you're working out every day afterwards at home or beforehand, depending on when your shift is. At that point, it makes more sense to get sick. And yet, because those who usually have those kind of jobs are always working out on their off time, on their downtime, they never do. They'll eat healthily. Granted, I don't always eat healthy. I can admit that. But the carbs that come from the unhealthy eating, gone like that because of how much I'm moving around all the time. Like, even, even when I'm not at work... Because of the recent purchase that Pink Fox and I made not too long ago, this is a workout of its own. I guarantee it. We got this, and there's a backstory I'm going to tell about this another day, but the point is, when you move around and exercise, that sickness is not a problem. It's nothing. It's brushed aside. Almost in an instant. What bothers me is the fact that this coworker is he was so lazy 
that he didn't even bother to consider that. He was like, <coughs> well, I'm sick. I'm, he didn't even bother to call off. He just didn't go in. Nothing. No call, no show. I got a hold, was gotten a hold of, and I was like, Ugh. I tried to reason with it, but when the reasoning that was contradicted back, the wording that was used specifically, I could tell that it was needed. Like, it was desperately needed. So I was like, you know what? All right, fine. Just get a hold of me in an hour, and if I'm awake, go ahead and hit up, if you're willing to give me an Uber to get over there, because it's cold right now. I'll, I'll go in. And I ended up going in. But it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous the terms that made, made it happen. I mean, now bear in mind, I'm going to compare me going in for this particular employee to another employee who had way better circumstances. Yesterday, I did work, but I was originally supposed to have it off. The difference is yesterday was more, or I did not work yesterday, but I was supposed to have tomorrow off. That's what I meant, but I am going to be working tomorrow. The reason for this is because an employee, a coworker of mine, actually had a, he has a second job and he was scheduled same time for both jobs. So he reached out to me and asked me if I could cover for him. I was hesitant at first, but then I spoke to him and said, tell you what, what day do you have off after the date that we originally talked about? He told me yesterday was the case. So I was like, tell you what, take my shift on that day and I'll take your shift on the day you were supposed to work. And that's exactly what we did. And in this circumstance, I get it. Because you're able to reason and you're still keeping things level and par and still showing up for an about an equivalent amount of time. In that sense, I understand. In that sense, you're still making up for the lost time. I'm taking your shift and you're taking my shift. It makes sense. But if you just don't show up at all, because you've got a minor illness, that's when I'm like, <sighs> that's like poke your eye out kind of annoying to me. Like I literally sat there pinching like, this part of my nose for five minutes straight when I first heard about it. Okay, that's probably an over-exaggeration. To be honest, I don't know. It's still annoying. And it's not okay. It's not acceptable. That's just bad work ethics. And there are so many ways around it that makes it so easy to be able to still attend and get better simultaneously. Like again, Pink Fox and I are not feeling the best right now. We showed up and I've got a stuffed up nose, but it was worse this morning than it is now. It was to the degree where I actually kind of had a migraine this morning. The funny thing is, all I needed was some Powerade and to move around. It was because my body was low on electrolytes. But that's, you know, that's a discussion. That's a medical type of discussion we can discuss on another day. I'm not going to compare much further, but this is kind of the vent that I wanted to get out. It's annoying when a, a, a coworker just shows up for no reason, forcing you to go in for them instead. That's kind of the short of the vent that I'm trying to get off with all the examples that went into it. That honestly, 
make sense compared to the thing that did happen that didn't make sense. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and stop venting now. I'm sure you guys have had enough of that. For those who um, watched to the bitter end of this video, thanks for tuning into this video. If you agree with anything I had to say here, um, let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you disagree with like any of the kind of moral ideas that came off of it from my end, um, you're more than welcome to talk about it down there as well. Just try to keep a low-key, just constructive criticism, but not to a degree that can be... hurtful to anybody, or offensive to anyone. Let's try to, like, keep it kind of family-friendly, constructive criticism. Um, if possible. If you do disagree, or you have different ideals. But if you did like this video, and you, then make sure to give the video a like. If you really like this kind of stuff, like rants, discussions on random topics, whether it's like workplace type topics, like I guess this could be also considered a discussion on that front, um, or psychological topics, sociological topics, psychosocial topics. There are several things. If you like anything like that, why not check the link on the uh, your guys' left, my right side. There will be a link to a playlist with over 280 videos um, as of this recording. If, this, is, if you'd rather look for something else that might intrigue you a bit more, whether it's humor or a different type of topic as far as like vlogs go, or something like skits, I guess you could say, random BS that we do sometimes on here, you know, click the link on this side, you might find something you may enjoy over there a bit more. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys, and we hope to catch all of you in another one. See you guys later. I looked over there. Let's try that again. Bye. <laughs> that was dumb.